One time I was hooking up, kissing with this guy, <laughs> you know, after I was just laying next to him, was thinking, okay, I'm aboard, suck a little dick or something. I wonder if that's a commentary on his presentation. And so I do. And I'm thinking to do uh and I'm thinking to do his reaction. I guess I'm good at this. Well, okay. Nice little humble brag there. And I guess because you know he's screaming or whatever. I'm good at this. I guess because you know as I'm sucking a little dick or some, he's going, "Ah! Ah!" And I think, "Oh, I might be good at this." And he's about to nut. <laughs> And he was about to nut. I saw his head go back slack. Oh, you killed him. Holy shit. So I'm thinking, I'm a god at this point. But no, his legs start spasming, mouth foaming seizure. He had epilepsy. There's more to the end, but that's the gist of it. See, I appreciate this. Oh, man, I appreciate this. Makes me never want to touch a man again. Yo, him having epilepsy from head... Is that because you were blowing them with, like, Kanye glasses on? <laughs> were you wearing a headband with some LEDs in it? That'd be wild if you never looked up and you're just, you know, you're going to work and you're thinking, oh, God, I am slay, queen. I am slaying this blowjob. This is an absolute slay. Look at his legs and they're just fucking... <laughs> Just modulating his epilepsy with his little dick like a joystick. His legs going up, down, left, right. And you're like, damn, slay, queen. I'm killing this. And then this motherfucker just back there just... Looking like he's chewing on Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> Man, that dude has a trigger. That dude has a trigger in his penis. Orgasm-induced seizures, a rare phenomena. Oh, oh, yeah, I like this. A little science. A variety of stimuli can cause reflex seizures. Some triggers include light, music, and cognitive phenomena. There are case reports, however, where the phenomenon of sexual activity has been a trigger for epileptic seizures. Most of these cases reported are in women so far. Oh, so you're saying it's possible. And were found to be localized to uh, right cerebral hemisphere. We report a case of a 36-year-old male with orgasm-induced seizures with other atypical features compared to a majority of previous reports. Interesting. This is the abstract. Let's continue. Reflex seizures are well-known entities developing in response to a discrete or specific stimulus. Reflex seizures are the ones that, quote, objectively and consistently are demonstrated to be evoked by a specific afferent stimulus or by the activity of the patient. Afferent stimuli can be elementary, that is unstructured, such as light flashes, and startle. Oh, so you could just, you could scare someone into a seizure? Oh, like the fainting goat. Oh, that's crazy, man. If you didn't know you had that and your friends are like, let's go to a haunted house. <laughs> Afferent stimuli can be elaborate, that is, structured. Activity may be elementary, ergo, motor, a movement, or elaborate, ergo, cognitive, reading, and chess playing. You can get a seizure from playing chess? Or both. As an example, reading aloud. No, I'll be careful. <laughs> Photosensitive epilepsy is the most com <laughs> All right, no, that's not funny. That's not funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Photosensitive epilepsy is the most common type of this epilepsy. Reflex seizures have a 5 to 6% prevalence among patients with epilepsis. In patients with reflex seizures, probably there are probably there are regions of cortical hyperexcitability. That's what I'm going to refer to the bottom of my head as <laughs> this is a region of cortical hyper excitability that overlap if you're uncut 
with areas activated during sensory stimulations. When this part gets activated in response to a reflex stimulus, it may lead to partial or generalized seizures. Sexual orgasm is not recognized as a stimulus for reflex epilepsy, according to the International League Against Epilepsy. There's a league fighting epilepsy? Wow. International League. <laughs> we are the I-L-A-E. Seizures evoked by sexual orgasms were, the first, were first reported in 1960, followed by a few more case reports. Dude, 1960? What was medicine like in 1960? It must have been pretty decent. I was picturing bringing your fucking cadavered partner, and you're like, I don't know. It was a scary time as a woman, bringing a male body to the doctor, and you're like, oh, gosh. <laughs> no, you're, uh, it's 1960, so you're like, yes. I was sucking his cock, see? Yeah, we were on the backside of the McDonald's, and I sucked my husband's cock. In the back seat of our Buick. And he started bubbling up like salt on a snail. And I thought, gee, I better bring him by the dock to set him right. Who's the presidential wife that was given the crazy head? Nancy. Nancy. Was it Nancy Pelosi? Reagan. <laughs> Reagan. Man, Lauren fucking hit the family feud button on that one. <laughs> Ooh, Nancy Reagan! <laughs> Maybe that's why seizures were first reported in the 1960s, because Nancy Reagan was fucking goating that throat, you know? Did you imagine just blowing a, I don't know. Uh, who's that dude? Lyndon B. Johnson? That guy, unironically, supposedly had a huge dong. He complained about uh, uh, jeans being too tight. He said, they ought to make the bottom area lower so your dick and balls can hang in there. Nancy Reagan killed Lyndon B. Johnson. What a name for a dude with a huge hammer. Lyndon B. Johnson? Fire. Fire. Yeah, that's when they were first reported. Nancy Reagan giving that fucking 